CRIEnglish.com, connecting China with the world. When people talk about African drums, they often think of a drum shaped like a trophy. This is called djembe. A djembe is made of wood, and people use string and an iron ring to fix a piece of goat skin on it, thus creating the drum. This instrument first originated during the Manding Empire, 1235 to 1600, in West Africa, which is now divided into five countries, including Guinea and Senegal. Africans often hang the djembe around their necks or on their shoulders, and hit it with their bare hands whilst walking. Its influential rhythm has attracted many young, energetic Chinese people. Tian Yang is one of them. I first saw the djembe drums at the MIDI Music Festival six or seven years ago. Music fans from all over the country came to the festival. I saw some people playing the drums on the lawn. Some of them sat or knelt on the lawn, while others carried the drum on their shoulders. They played it in a circle. This instrument gives me a sense of freedom, and that was the main attraction for me. In order to pass on this sense of freedom and happiness to more people, Tian opened a club called All Comers Djembe Drumming Club in Beijing in 2008, which led to many office workers learning how to play the instrument. Playing or watching people play the djembe brings you happiness. Nowadays, people suffer from great pressure in their daily lives and at work. So some people choose to relieve this pressure by playing the djembe. The djembe is an instrument which is even more fun when more people play it together. So it helps form small drum communities. Through this instrument, you can make friends with people from different careers or backgrounds. Jay Bai has joined the club and has been learning how to play djembe with Tian for two years. Oh, I was impressed by the rhythm of the instrument. I thought the instrument had full impact and energy. I loved it, so I decided to join the club. Traditionally, in Africa, an individual needs to spend many years practicing djembe to become a djembe master. But learners can enjoy playing it with other djembe lovers, even without being an advanced drummer. I mastered four or five rhythms in just one or two days, and then I could play with other djembe drummers. But if you want to play improvised rhythmic patterns, one of the biggest attractions of the instrument, you need to practice for a long time and master lots of rhythms. Then you'll know how to create your own rhythms. Tian has also chosen some of his best students to form a djembe band, and the group has had many performances in different parts of Beijing. Those performances were a big success. Many in attendance stood in circles with big smiles and cheerful expressions on their faces as the group drummed out their infectious beats. When I first came to the stage, there were many people in the audience who had come to watch the performance. They were all interested in this musical style and rocked their bodies with our music. I felt so satisfied and knew that many people accepted our music. In the year of 2012, Tian and his band will continue to bring laughter and happiness to people who love the djembe drum. Morning, Bassa!